August the 8th, 2019. Guys, you're looking at an article from the spring, and it's showing what's called the El Nino pattern. Now, you see along the equator there how warm it is there, the, really the tropical convergence zone, and then that red moisture that's spreading up towards California. What happens is El Nino is a weather pattern that goes from the left of this image from west to east, and uh, when they were talking about that this spring, we did a video, and I said it will be the year of the floods because of that, and that's exactly what we've seen. So now they're saying this El Nino is fading out. And so NOAA has come out with an update to our 2019 hurricane season. And this is kind of the predicted pattern for 2019 of El Nino. This is from the Weather Nation. In the gold airs, what you're seeing is that pattern, picking up this warm, moist air off the Pacific jet and bringing it in across California and Baja and soaking uh, the southeast. And normally, if it drops far enough, you'll have dry air here. Now, what happened was everything went north on this deal. In, in other words, this pattern was much further north. And that's why we saw the floods move further up north early spring. And we're, we're still recovering from that. The Mississippi River is still up. And that moved that warmer air further north and the drier air much further north through this uh, season so far. But this is over with. And uh, again, let's go to the new NOAA hurricane update. And here's what they're saying, guys. NOAA increases the chance for above normal hurricane season. El Nino's fading back. And again, you hit not only the moisture that was moving across in the diagram I just showed you, that creates the upper level wind shear that tears the storms apart as they're moving the opposite direction, moving from Africa or the Caribbean, uh, toward, again, westward toward the U.S. August 8, 2019 today, the forecasters monitoring oceanic and atmospheric patterns say conditions are now favorable for above normal hurricane activity since El Nino has now ended. Two named storms have formed so far this year, and the peak months of the hurricane season, August through October, are now underway. Guys, are you ready? Seasonal forecasters with NOAA's Climate Prediction Center have increased the likelihood, again, of the above normal Atlantic hurricane season to 45% up from 30% from the outlook issued in May. The likelihood of near-normal activity is now at 35%, and the chance of below-normal activity has dropped to 20%. And what has changed, and uh, we'll pull this down, they're talking about 10 to 17 storms, 5 to 9 hurricanes, and 2 to 4 major hurricanes. And if we pull this chart all the way down, you can see we've had Andrea, and we all watched Barry, so the next one would be Chantel. They're saying, and they announced it today, that the current El Nino in the Pacific Ocean has ended and neutral conditions have returned. El Nino typically suppresses hurricane activity, but not that. It, but now that it's gone, we could see a busier season ahead. This is coming from uh, Jerry Bell, Ph.D. lead seasonal hurricane forecaster at NOAA's Climate Prediction Center. Now, that's something we've talked about. If the storms ever get going, and we saw quite a few in the last cycle come off the coast of Africa, and by the time they get in the Caribbean, the wind shear will decimate them almost overnight. Really strange, but that's what we've been seeing. So now that this has changed, as with all the wild weather we've had, this evolution combined with the more conducive conditions associated with the ongoing high-activity air for Atlantic hurricanes that began in 1995 increases the likelihood of above-normal activity this year. Guys, think about the cosmic rays that are penetrating our shields, the increase in the sunburn, the heat in the ocean and the atmospheres. On average, the Atlantic hurricane season produces 12 named storms, of which six become hurricanes, including three major hurricanes. NOAA's hurricane season outlook is for an overall season activity and is not a landfall forecast. Landfalls are largely determined by short-term weather patterns, which are only predictable within about a week of a storm potentially reaching a coastline. Now, going back to a Weather Nation chart, again, your time stamp at the bottom left is today, August the 8th. It says the initial outlook for this year, was 9 to 15 storms, 
four to eight hurricanes, two to four major hurricanes. What's changed is from 10 to 17, so two more named storms, one more hurricane, five to nine, but the amount of major hurricanes remains the same. The average, 12, six, and three. So we're in the kind of right in the middle of that on all of this. Just what has increased is the number of named storms, and that could be that maybe they are starting to calculate in this increased temperature due to our weak shields. Now, looking at the entire Atlantic with Africa to your right, what they're talking about, and you've got an example of it here, is this storm or this area of low pressure circulation that just crossed the islands coming into the Caribbean is still feeling some of the effects of this El Nino pattern as it starts to um, die off. And we've seen one after the other get in this area and get shredded apart. I mean, they didn't have a chance. They could look strong coming off of Africa. If they made it through the Saharan dust layer, you're still seeing some come off now, the African coast as it starts to get sunset there. But as they got this far, they were starting to shear apart. Now notice that some of this wind is starting to change. You've got in the very low area still a, and a westerly shear but if you look further north that's starting to change you're starting to see a pattern move from north and across the gulf of mexico itself we have upper level winds moving from uh right to left or from west to east and if we see that pattern continue that's what they're talking about here and uh, what they've been battling is the el nino and the saharan dust layer and what you're seeing I'll stop it here. If you notice this area, it's been kind of quiet. Notice how it's clear. Now, this is su the sun's reflection as it moves across our planet. But coming off the uh, coast of Africa, you can see it's not as dense as it has been. And that's going to also play a factor. But uh, these dust clouds come out in cycles. You'll have a large area come through there, and then winds will pick up, and uh, there comes another layer behind it. But that's what they're talking about is, again, a change in all of this. You can see there's uh, storms forming over Africa. A few uh, low-pressure systems have moved off, but it's been very hard for anything to get past midway on this map. And I want to back out even further, give you this whole entire side of our planet. Now, notice a couple things that are happening. This shear or this El Nino wind pattern that's been moving across in this direction we've seen it up until now it all of this is starting to give way become neutral and you can see the wind patterns changing now check this out let me put it back into motion you see that sinking out of California when as just a few days ago as we were watching some of these storms move towards Hawaii we had just the opposite so again becoming neutral and that is going to uh, change how these storms are affected by the wind shear. And looking at it in this image, where it's, as you see sunset coming from right to left, it's dark, getting dark over the Atlantic, switching to your basically infrared night vision, storms over the coast of Africa. Check that out. So we'll be watching anything coming from that area a little more closely, anything moving north out of the uh, convergence zone, and we still have to pay attention to this area. Its waters are very warm. You know, this is one of the links on our channel. I think everything we've seen so far is the Vinci Sky. And I've got this set for wind speed, and it's at 10 meters above ground. That's about 33 feet roughly, guys. But that's where, when you get a measurement for sustained winds and things like that, uh, they like to have it at that level. Now, you can go much higher on this map. But uh, you notice your winds are have been coming from Africa the entire time, but getting battled by winds coming from the left of this map to the right because of this El Nino. But look at the changes now as we pull over and look into this a little closer. Everything's shifting. Because the winds coming from El Nino are, have gone into neutral, look at the patterns all the way across. Nothing's coming now uh, through... Uh, Mexico or across Central America into the Caribbean and the entire Gulf of Mexico now will become neutral. This is an, again an excellent graphic of what they're talking about guys. Now a quick 
look at our website most of you know that it's changed but for some of the new folks that have come in and subscribe to our channel the links that were on the old BP Earth Watch, they're all still here. They're just in a little different format. If you click here in the links, you can scroll down and none have been left out. You can look right through here, all your weather, space information, satellite information, live meteor information, earthquake information. It's all still there with a couple of the major program links still here. And guys, again, a shout out to our sponsors while I'm here. My Patriot Supply, they've been with us for about seven years and seen this uh, channel go through some hard times. But because of you guys coming in and preparing your family, it uh, it's kind of, it is a win-win for everyone. Thank you for the support. More than that, thank you for being awake enough to prepare yourself and your family. But guys, there's a couple changes. Uh, again, you come here, you can click number one in uh, 20 to 25 year shelf life freeze-dried foods i have it it's excellent boil a little water get it hot over a fire a couple other ways to do it uh, mix it in and you've got some excellent food that'll keep you alive not only that something else they've added then it's uh, just been out i guess a month or so now but there's no money down affordable monthly payments and what they're doing is uh, it's zero interest without 12 months so whatever you're getting in their supply um warehouse from the food you see on the left to the Alexa Pure water filters and the, some of the first aid kits they've got some solar supplies now radios uh, various camping supplies you just have to go there and check it out but uh, if within the 12 months you can really if you've got a monthly budget go ahead stock up get it in and set it up at zero interest as they're saying about a 90 percent approval rate and of course everything's through uh, the secure logins with my patriot supply so guys think about it and uh, not only do you help support our channel and uh, i appreciate that but when if you have a hurricane or you have something else happen some kind of geopolitical event then you're prepared don't be caught off guard. We've seen it happen too many times, guys. This is a heads up. We appreciate you. Be safe.